Good morning, good evening, buongiorno, buonasera, benvenuti amici, welcome my friends. Yes, welcome to my channel, Fountain Pen Therapy. I'm going to be reviewing another Napolitan classic. Uh, as uh, some of you may have realized, um, the Neapolitan Italian pens are my favorite pens. I believe they're amongst the best in the world. Uh, their flair, their quality, their design, uh, the materials they use uh, are all top-notch. And they make a, just a beautiful fountain, fountain pen. So uh, Delta has been resurrected. And uh, some of the older models have been updated and released in 2023. And the pen I'm going to be presenting you today is one such pen. So without it further ado, let's go to my overhead camera and let's look at the surprise I have for you this week. First of all, the packaging. Um, this is pretty well the standard packaging that I've seen for all my new Delta pens that I've purchased in 2023 since they've been uh, resurrected, if you will. It's a the classic black box. And when you open it up, they have a beautiful uh, interior, uh, you know, fake leather box that opens up. Uh, you have the uh, brief description of the pen, History of Delta, a very interesting little booklet, uh, promotional booklet. And there you have the pen. And this is the Gallery Blue Moon. Yes, folks, Gallery Blue Moon, Delta, fine writing instruments since 1982. Just a, just a wonderful, wonderful company. And I'm so glad they resurrected it. Um, all the credit to those who have decided to pick up from where it ended, if you will. So we'll put that box away and we'll take a look at the pen much more closely. Here it is. Um, you know, it's this abstract drip painting inspiration from what I read, uh, you know, from the American artists uh, back in the, uh, well, several, several decades ago. Uh, you know, it, it's not quite like the new primary manipulation, if you will, which is a little more involved, if you will, but very similar. Um, the outside, well, let's start first by the finial, a beautiful finial. And on that finial, you have the Delta logo, as you could see, um, silver plated. Uh, you have the rhodium finishes. Uh, well, you have this ball ring clip which is you know typical of delta pens if you will you have a beautiful um ring here um band if you will a very very intricate you know intricate design on that band uh my camera's having trouble focusing there you got you have it okay uh and you have the rhodium finishes on on the rings you have a ring on top here ring here um, the other finial is really resin it's a piston filler so it's a piston filling mechanism that uh, works from outside here let's let's open it up uh, some people like to know how many uh, turns that's one one turn okay there you have it let me just put the cap aside here in terms of the nib let's start with that it's a, uh, a branded nib they come in various sizes i i, I typically uh, is my 1.1 stub it does have a a ink window there because it is a piston filler so you can see the piston filling mechanism opens up here and you can turn it and it will fill up the pen if you will there you go to the end and then you'll get the that indicates that it's been filled up and then you can close the cap very just excellent excellent quality uh, very similar to the Dolce Vita uh, selections uh, or, or, or creations uh, when you close that up you could see 
that it is a, uh, in fact, a Dolce Vita, but with a, just a different resin. And my, the Dolce Vitas are just just gorgeous, gorgeous pens. So uh, it's a, I would say it's a medium size, and we'll take a look at a size comparison in, in just a few seconds. Just to give you one more closer up look at this resin. There you go. Isn't that gorgeous? I think it's just a very, very nice pen. I'm so glad I've managed to put this uh, as part of my collection. There you go. Um, now, in terms of a size comparison, let me take out... I have a series of pens here. Uh, they're all either Delta or Delta-inspired, and I'll get to it in a second. Let me add the uh, Gallery Blue Moon. So, this is my Amalfi Magnifica. Um, this is my Delta Black Lex. This is the new Dolce Vita D DV that, I, that came out this year. Uh, when you compare it to uh, the Blue Moon, you can see it's the Blue Moon is a more medium-sized uh, pen, if you will. Uh, this is my Marta Modena. I, take a look at that video I took out. These are great pens because it kind of just, uh, they're Dolce Vitas, just a cheaper version, if you will, uh, but just, just as pretty. So that's my Marta Modena uh, Dolce Vita uh, Stantufo. Uh, this is my uh, Delta Unica, and this is my Delta Journal. So you could see it's a, a fairly nice-sized pen. Uh, can it be capped? Uh, yes, it can, very, very comfortably. Is it back-weighted? Somewhat, but doable, okay? Uh, I, I just don't like to cap my pens just because I just don't like to ruin that resin right at the top there. So... Okay, so that's the size comparison. Let's put that aside, if you will. Next is a writing sample. So we'll start with the ink. The ink I'm using today is, is the Shooting Star Shimmer Ink um, from Van Diemen's. That has more and more become one of my go-to inks. This is a shimmering ink uh, that I've never actually used before. So I don't know how this is all going to uh, play out, but you can see the shimmer there. Uh, we'll just shake it up a little bit so that I could fill the pen and we'll take it from there. So let me just, uh, in terms of the ink, what it looks like, here we go. This is it. Uh, so you can see there's a lot of gold shimmer there. Uh, there's some blue and there's some uh, red. So, you know, when we're talking about gallery blue moon, I thought that the uh, this color was quite appropriate. So let's fill it up. It is a piston filler, so okay, so I'm filling it up once. Typically, I like to do it about three times, so I go back down. And suck it up again. That's two. Draw it back out again. That way you just impregnate that that brand new nib. There we go. I think we should be okay now. Let me just get my dirty cloth here. Okay. And this should do the trick. Okay, so. First things first, let me just cap this again. Just shut the pen for a second. Close the ink. Get that out of the way. Uh, in terms of the journal I will be using, it's this uh, margin A5 margin made in Japan life um, notebooks. I've discovered these life notebooks and other Japanese. I've, I've uh, just placed an order for several uh, notebooks, A5 notebooks with different Japanese paper, and I will re be reviewing that sometime soon. As soon as I get the package, you'll be the first ones to, with whom I, I will share that. I find they're becoming, uh, these life uh, notebooks are a really nice alternative to Toma River. Uh, I, I would say they're in between Midori and Toma River, 
Uh, I don't like Midori. It's a little rough. Um, so a lot of feedback. Whereas I really love Toma River. And I, I would say that this is in between. That's just my, my sense. So let's open that up. I typically like to use my grid. Um, grid is what I like to use, or like to order. Okay, here we go. Now let me just see. We will start that up. Um, so you'll be seeing this. Hopefully I've, I've uh, inked this properly. So this is the, the Delta. Wow, that is juicy. Uh, really, really, really juicy. Um, Delta Gallery Blue Moon. Very, very, very nice. The nib on this pen is a branded Delta uh, one point one stub. Now, is this a Delta nib or not? I'm going to have to do some research. I I can't tell you, but it. It looks awfully close to looking. I think it's a Joe in it, a Yo in it. That's my impression. I don't believe that they're house made or made in house. I think these are uh, very it nibs similar to what's being used by Mayora, uh, Joya, and even Leonardo Officina. So, uh, but I got to tell you, they're smooth. So if they've played around with it they've done a good job because this nib is absolutely I would say it's wet constant and smooth very thick the ink is uh, for a shimmering ink very very nice it appears to be, look at this, it's just smooth. And this paper, just wonderful, folks. Really, really nice. Recommend it, recommend it, absolutely, absolutely. So um, I, I really like this nib. The line variation is just ideal. That's the Delta Gallery Blue Moon. Now, in terms of rating, let's, let's rate this pen. Um, in terms of design, well, I mean, you know, it's a Delta nib, and I'm very biased because that is my favorite pen manufacturer, if you will. I will give it a 9.5 just because it's a déjà vu. It's really a Dolce Vita design. Um, yes, the resin is 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 uh, is very nice and different. That's why it's still up there in the nines, if you will. In terms of its uh, build quality, uh, build quality, like all Delta pens, I'm going to give this a 9.8. It is a solid pen, solid manufactured pen. Um, it, it, you know, it's it's got some nice heft to it. It's got weight. Everything is built uh, very nicely, very precisely. So I can't give it anything less than 9.8. Now, in terms of the nib, it's a juicy, juicy nib, well-tuned. Uh, if it is Yo-Wo, well, like, like most of Yo-Wo nibs, uh, they're just uh, very, very nice for a steel nib. I'm going to give this a 9.9. Um, one thing I've noticed is that this 1.1 writes awfully like a 1.5 stub, very thick, very thick. Um, as opposed to the um, stipula stub nibs that I've talked about in previous episodes, which are a little bit thinner. So for those of you that would like a medium cursive, those stipula nibs, I, I certainly, you know, try to f get your hands on them. I know Stilografica Corsani, I believe their name is, um, is where I got them. You order a pen or you write to a gentleman by the name of Salvatore there, I believe. And he, you know, I sometimes I buy five, six of them. He ships them over uh, overseas. And that way I, 
I can replace some of my pens when I want a thinner stub. Very nice, very nice. Um, in terms of value, this pen I purchased for 100, 200, under $200 Canadian. I'm giving it a, t a 10 on 10. I was so happy to see this pen being made available at such a reasonable price. Uh, where these things were probably going for a lot more when they had originally came out, because this is an updated and released, uh, recently released version, I believe, of an older model. So um, there you have it. Um, lastly, is it a go-to pen? And if so, what's my rating? It's a 10 on 10, and yes, it's a go-to pen. So there you have it. That's my review. That's my writing sample. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the, the introductory video. Thank you very much. It's a beautiful day here in uh, Montreal, Canada. It's sunny. Summer is set in. My golf season is underway. My fountain, my fountain pen collection continues to grow. It's uh, Look, it's therapy for all folks. Enjoy. Thank you.